Dear fellow truth seekers, thank you and welcome for visiting my channel, Mitha Religio. Mitha Religio is a video channel based on a book series with the same name about religious comparison studies between the stories in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism, directly from their sacred books and world mythologies, hence the name Mitha Religio. The purpose is to retrace the prehistory of humanity, since I'm not fully satisfied with either the explanations from the point of view of creationists nor evolutionists. There are so many missing links in both explanations. If you feel the same, then you are on the right channel. In this channel, I will also analyze about the prehistory of humanity from the archaeological records, modern scientific point of view, and other alternative theories such as the ancient alien theories and Atlantis or Lemuria legends. After thorough research of circa 30 years, I recognize many, many similarities between all religious stories and even mythologies, and surprisingly, some of them are in accordance or even beyond modern science that have been proven as correct. Thus, I came to the conclusion that all religions must have come from the same source, and all these religious stories and mythologies, although heavily jumbled up, are actually telling one mega story, the true prehistory of our common ancestors. This mega story is quite different than what we have been told to believe and will truly blow your mind as it is more fascinating than our imagination. If you have watched the earlier videos in this channel, I believe you can see some of the similarities too. If you haven't and you truly want to do a religious comparative study, I suggest that you do so. The best way to do a comprehensive religious study via this channel is by watching the videos starting from number one and continue until this present video and so on. That way you will see a clear pattern. In this channel, I will share almost all that I have written in my book series. However, there is one book so far that I cannot share in this channel due to its sensitive, shocking and dark nature and also might be considered controversial to some, but I believe it sheds more light to the above conclusion. If you want to read this around 500 pages ebook with many full color illustrations, you are more than welcome to download book number 5 entitled History of the Dark Side that is available for free in ebook format that can be found in my website www.mythorelligio.com You only have to give your email address and it will be sent to you directly. And no, I won't share your email address nor send any advertisement. The link is in the description box. If you want to get the physical book, kindly go to amazon.com Now let's continue with this week's video. Video number 71 Science versus Religion, Problem with the Tree of Life in the Theory of Evolution. Dear fellow truth seekers, for the last few weeks I have shared with you the scientific theories on the origin of life, i.e. the theory of evolution and the Big Bang Theory, for our religious versus science comparison study. I did this in order to find answers to the questions that are not answered satisfactorily by religion. Up from video number 63 until 68, I've shared with you how we have yet to find one single intermediary form between species from water to land animals, from land to flying animals, and from apes to humans. And in video number 69, I have shared with you one of the biggest hoaxes in the scientific world in an attempt to prove the validity of the hominid evolution, i.e. the Piltdown Man scandal. In the previous video number 70, I have shared with you about the problem of the timeline in the theory of evolution. And now, I would like to share another problem in this theory concerning the tree of life. The tree of life. The same problem with the timeline of human evolution also appears in the overall timeline evolution of animal species. I could not believe what I have read concerning how many issues are not explainable by the theory of evolution. However, 
One thing that truly shocked me is concerning the evolutionist tree of life that is inconsistent with the fossil record. We are so much used of being told that natural history implies the theory of evolution. As we know, the theory proposes that life developed from one single common ancestor and took on all its varieties by a series of tiny changes. In that case, life should first have emerged in a very similar and simple forms. Then, the differentiation between and growing complexity in living things must have happened in parallel over time. In short, life must be like a tree with a common root subsequently splitting up into different branches. According to this tree concept, phyla, the fundamental units of classification between living things, came about by stages, as in the above pictures. According to the evolution theory, one phyla must first emerge, and then the other phyla must slowly come about with minute changes over very long periods of time. The evolution hypothesis is that the number of animal phyla must have gradually increased in number. The above diagram shows the gradual increase in the number of animal phyla according to the evolution view. But is this really how it happened? I am so surprised to learn that the answer is definitely not. Quite the contrary, the fossil records show just the opposite. Animals have been very different and complex since the moment they first emerged. All the animal phyla known today emerged at the same time in the middle of the geological period known as the Cambrian Age. The Cambrian Age is a geological period estimated to have lasted some 65 million years, approximately between 570 to 505 million years ago. But the period of the abrupt appearance of major animal groups fit in an even shorter phase of the Cambrian, often referred to as the Cambrian Explosion. Stephen C. Meyer, P. A. Nelson, and Paul Sheehan in a 2001 article based on a detailed literature survey dated 2001 note that the Cambrian Explosion occurred within an exceedingly narrow window of geologic time lasting no more than 5 million years. The fossil records show that some hundred phyla suddenly emerged in the Cambrian age. The tree of life is not a tree after all. The diagram should actually look like the above diagram. Different groups of living things emerge suddenly with their different structures. Subsequently, the number of this fell rather than rose because some phyla became extinct. Before then, there is no trace in the fossil record of anything apart from single-celled creatures and a few very primitive multicellular ones. All animal phyla emerged completely formed and all at once in the very short period of time represented by the Cambrian explosion. Five million years is a very short time in geological terms. The fossils found in Cambrian rocks belong to a very different creatures, such as snails, trilobites, sponges, jellyfish, starfish, shellfish, etc. Most of the creatures in this layer have complex systems and advanced structures, such as eyes, gills, and circulatory systems, exactly the same as those in modern specimens. These structures are at one and the same time very advanced and very different. One of the creatures which suddenly emerged in the Cambrian age was Hallucigenia. And as with many other Cambrian fossils, like the one at the right, it has spines or a hard shell to protect it from attack by enemies. The question that evolutionists cannot answer is, how could they have come by such an effective defense system at a time when there were no predators around? The lack of predators at the time makes it impossible to explain the matter in terms of natural selection. Richard Monastersky, a staff writer at Science News magazine, states the following about the Cambrian explosion. A half billion years ago, the remarkably complex forms of animals we see today suddenly appeared. 
This moment, right at the start of Earth Cambrian period some 550 million years ago, marks the evolutionary explosion that filled the seas with the world's first complex creatures. The same article also quotes Jan Bergström, a paleontologist who studied the early Cambrian deposits in Changyang, China, as saying, The Changyang fauna demonstrates that the large animal phyla of today were present already in the early Cambrian and they were as distinct from each other as they are today. How the earth came to overflow with such a great number of animal species all of a sudden and how these distinct types of species with no common ancestors could have emerged. The Oxford University zoologist Richard Dawkins, one of the foremost advocates of evolutionist thought in the world, stated. For example, the Cambrian strata of rocks are the oldest ones in which we find most of the major invertebrate groups and we find many of them already in an advanced state of evolution, the very first time they appear. It's as though they were just planted there, without any evolutionary history. Philip Johnson, a professor at the University of California at Berkeley, who is also one of the world's foremost critics of Darwinism, wrote in Darwinism Rules of Reasoning describing the contradiction between this paleontological truth and Darwinism. Darwinian theory predicts a cone of increasing diversity as the first living organism or first animal species gradually and continually diversify to create a higher level of taxonomic order. The animal fossil record more resembles such a cone turned upside down, with the phyla present at the start and thereafter decreasing. As Philip Johnson has revealed, Far from its being the case that phyla came about by stages, in reality, they all came into being at once, and some of them even became extinct in later periods. The above diagrams reveal the truth that the fossil record has revealed concerning the origin of phyla. As we can see, in the Pre-Cambrian age, there were three different phyla consisting of single-cell creatures, but in the Cambrian age, some 60 to 100 different animal phyla emerged suddenly. In the age that followed, some of these phyla became extinct, and only a few have come down to our day, circa 30 phyla. Well-known paleontologist Roger Lewin discusses this extraordinary fact, which should dismiss the evolution assumptions about the history of life. Described recently as the most important evolutionary event during the entire history of the Metazoa, the Cambrian explosion established virtually all the major animal body forms, bowplane or phyla that would exist thereafter, including many that were weeded out and became extinct. Compared with the 30 or so extant phyla, some people estimate that the Cambrian explosion may have generated as many as a hundred. Roger Lewin, Science, Volume 241, July 15, 1988. What is interesting is that the new fossil findings make the Cambrian age problem all the more complicated. This February 1999 issue, Trans in Genetics, TIG, a leading science journal, dealt with this issue. In an article about a fossil bed in the Burgess Shale region of British Columbia, Canada, it confessed that fossil findings in the area offer no support for the theory of evolution. The Burgess Shale fossil bed is accepted as one of the most important paleontological discoveries of our time. Fossils of many different species uncovered in the Burgess Shale appeared on Earth suddenly, without having been developed from any pre-existing species found in preceding layers. TIG expresses this important problem as follows. It might seem odd that fossils from one small locality, no matter how exciting, should lie at the center of a fierce debate about such broad issues in evolutionary biology. The reason is that animals burst into the fossil record in astonishing profusion during the Cambrian, seemingly from nowhere. Increasingly precise radiometric dating and new fossil discoveries have only sharpened the suddenness and scope of this biological revolution. The magnitude of this change in Earth's biota demands an explanation. 
Although many hypotheses have been proposed, the general consensus is that none is wholly convincing. Deeper investigation into the Cambrian explosion shows what a great dilemma it creates for the theory of evolution. Recent findings indicate that almost all phyla, the most basic animal divisions, emerged abruptly in the Cambrian period. An article published in the journal Science in 2001 says, the beginning of the Cambrian period, some 545 million years ago, saw the sudden appearance in the fossil record of almost all the main types of animals, phyla, that still dominate the biota today. The same article notes that for such complex and distinct living groups to be explained according to the theory of evolution, very rich fossil beds showing a gradual developmental process should have been found, but this has not yet proven possible. This differential evolution and dispersal too must have required a previous history of the group for which there is no fossil record. The picture presented by the Cambrian fossils clearly refutes the assumptions of the theory of evolution and provides strong evidence for the involvement of a supernatural being in their creation. Thomas Futuyma, a prominent evolutionary biologist, admits this fact in Science on Trial. Organisms either appeared on Earth fully developed or they did not. If they did not, they must have developed from pre-existing species by some process of modification. If they did appear in a fully developed state, they must indeed have been created by some omnipotent intelligence. The fossil record clearly indicates that living things did not evolve from primitive to advanced forms, but instead emerged all of a sudden in a fully formed state. This provides evidence for saying that life did not come into existence through random natural processes, but through an act of intelligent creation. In an article called The Big Bang of Animal Evolution, in the leading journal Scientific American, the evolutionary paleontologist Jeffrey S. Leventon accepts this reality, albeit unwillingly, saying, Therefore, something special and very mysterious, some highly creative force existed then. Oh, right? If you wonder why this theory is still taught in schools and universities, I suggest that you read my fifth book, Mytho Religio, History of the Dark Side, that can be downloaded for free in my website. The link is in the description box. There is still one more topic in the theory of evolution that I will share in my next video. But for now, allow me to thank you for watching and hope to see you next week.